My name is Dr. Michael Greger with NutritionFacts.org. This month, a paper was published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics that found that essentially there's been no change in processed meat consumption over the last 20 years or so, which represents just an abject failure of all of us in the public health community to warn people about the very real risks of processed meat, bacon, ham, hot dogs, lunch meat, sausage. Right? These are known human carcinogens. The official 2018 IARC report couldn't have been clear, quote, consumption of processed meat causes cancer of the colorectum. Quote, that's our second leading cancer killer of men and women combined. We know these foods caused cancer. I mean, we try not to smoke around our kids. Why would we send them to school with a bologna sandwich? That's not hyperbole. According to the Surgeon General, Living with a smoker increases the risk of lung cancer 15%. So the cancer risk of secondhand smoke is comparable to the 16 or 18% increased risk of colorectal cancer, eating the equivalent of a single sausage link a day. You know, the 2015 dietary guidelines really appeared to drop the ball on this issue, saying processed meat could be accommodated as long as sodium and saturated fat limits um, were within limits. But that's ignoring the cancer risk, which we've known at least back since 2007 when the first comprehensive analysis was published by the American Institute for Cancer Research. In fact, one of their top 10 recommendations for cancer prevention, avoid processed meat, full stop. American Cancer Society also encouraged people to minimize intake of processed meat. We cannot allow the billion dollar meat industry to continue to subvert the science when so many million lives are at stake. The, the Global Burden of Disease Study largest study of disease risk factors in history, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, found that the number one cause of death in these United States is the American diet. Since bumping tobacco to number two, this committee now has control over our number one killer. You know, 1964 was the peak year of smoking in the U.S. before declining basically every year since. What happened in 1964? The science hadn't changed. We have studies going back to the 30s linking lung cancer to smoking. What changed is the Surgeon General's report. Just this public acknowledgement by the powers that be of this link between smoking and cancer. You now have this mantle to make a difference by just informing the American public about the risk of cancer with processed meat. Godspeed. Θα συμμετέχετε στο τέλο του βίντεο. Κάντε εγγραφή στο κανάλι και πατάτε το notification bell για να παίρνετε ειδοποιήσει κάθε φορά που ανεβάζω βίντεο. Μπορείτε να με ακολουθήσετε στα social media από κάτω και μπορείτε να υποστηρίξετε το κανάλι μου στο Patreon. Μέχρι την επόμενη φορά είναι η αλλαγή που θέλει να δει.